afternoon everyone it is Wednesday it's six o'clock and I am actually about to go to Bible study so I said I was gonna update you guys on my church how long has it been as far as my church so you guys know the church had well the whole world all of America all of California we had to shut down last year right and so there was no church and no Bible study so once things finally started slowly opening up we kind of went back to having bible study but not church because we were having it in the hotel um because we don't have our own building yet right then the women were coming like to different houses for ladies bible study and then men wrote to certain houses for men's bible study and then we stopped that because it was just too many people so we started having church on zoom and bible study which was great because it's like okay we were still able to get in what we needed but now and i knew this well i didn't know this part was coming but my pastor he is like barely 60 and has diabetes and he's kind of sick right now and not deathly ill or anything like that but um see i don't want to tell all his business but he is on the list for new kidneys, as I tell his business. So that's how he is. That's how sick he is, right? So he, our church is small, and we don't have like a large or a huge pastoral staff for him to turn it over to someone until he gets better. So it's so sad. It's I'm so sad, you guys, super sad. So he, for now, had to retire from being a pastor because it's taken so much out of him and he needs to focus on his health and it, the weird thing is is after our church broke up <laughs> then that's when all of his problems started snowballing more he actually had two of his arteries in his heart unclogged if that's the technical word for it and there's a third one that's clogged so i don't know um just a bunch of things going on so he is taking care of him and getting his health on track and hopefully i don't know one day in the future that he'll be able to start up again it was really sad and you know the church we were crying and whatever and it's just weird because i've been there since cheyenne is almost 25 I started going back to church when she was nine, nine or 10, something like that. And I have been with my pastor since then. And it's just really sad because I, these people, I mean, not only my pastor and pastor's wife, I look up to them. They're my friends. They are my confidants. They are my spiritual guide. I've gone to them for counseling and just all that stuff, right? So it's super sad that you know and it's not like they're not going to be there for us but yeah the church is no more so different uh, members have gone out to different churches wherever they feel that they are led of god to go and i haven't gone anywhere because i don't know i think maybe i'm still in denial and i still keep in contact with the pastor's wife and because we're friends so anyway she hasn't gone anywhere either she's been taking care of her you know husband and they have she has two adult children as well um so she's been taking care of them but she hasn't gone anywhere either and neither has he because you know he is because he's sick so tonight we are actually going to a church to visit i'm going to meet her there and yeah i mean there's a bunch of apostolic pentecostal churches in sacramento that you know i could look up and go to but i don't know i just felt so at home and there are certain churches that i just w refuse to go to because either i've been there when i was younger and one church in particular this church is not very diverse and um, a lot of their members are snooty they're in cliques and that's not the way to be because there will not be no cliques in heaven i'm sorry and there will be all races in heaven so yeah how you feeling so that one is out of the question and another one is out of the question so yeah gonna go visit a new church today and 
I don't know. I'm just praying for direction and guidance for God to lead us to where we should be. So yeah, you guys, um, Savannah's in the shower. I am dressed. I have on my Wednesday night Bible study clothes. No, that's not a thing. Um, <laughs> and just waiting to leave and I'm gonna go check the church out. Yeah. And I'll update you guys and let you know. I'm just hoping it, it's diverse. And because I don't, I don't like going to churches where it's only one race or I'm the only one of two families who are like me and the rest, you know, another race. I don't know. I just feel comfortable with like my church now. There's all races in my church and that's how I was raised and that's what I'm looking for. So, yeah, I just went on this whole little rant, whatever, but <sighs> yeah. Good morning, everyone. You guys are right here, so you already know. Anyway, it is super early on Saturday morning. Well, not super early. Well, I, depends on how you look at it. It's 7.15. And yes, I'm up because today's supposed to be pretty warm. And I wanted to handle my business before it gets too hot. What else do I have to do? I gotta stop and get gas because my gas light is on. And then... It's a nice car. I have to go to Home Depot because the shower in the kids' bathroom, their bathroom shower is leaking like from where you pull the nozzle to turn the water on. So that's leaking and I do have a guy who comes out who is my own like side plumber. <laughs> he does work for a huge company, but so he does work for a huge company, but he's also he also is in the process of getting his contractor's license. I think I told you guys this story before. I feel like I've said it already. But anyway, he does plumbing on the side also as well. And he doesn't charge as much as the his company would. So, um, yeah, I have him. Oh, I don't have him coming out yet. He just told me what I needed to buy as far as my kid's bathroom. I hate this angle when I have to put you guys there. Just let y'all know I do. Anyway, so I gotta go home to Home Depot and pick out like a shower head, like a a trio of things. The shower head, the thing you pull out, and then the spigot. I think that's what you call it. I don't know. And then also my glasses. I know I did get new glasses and I showed you guys, but they are way too strong. So when I put them on, my eyes, it takes about like 15 minutes for it to adjust. And then if I take it off for any reason, it starts to process over again. And I tried them out for like two months, six weeks, two months, something like that. And I know my prescription is gonna be different than my old glasses, I do know that. But I went and the doctor was like, well, for some reason I'm getting different readings. So, yeah, those are ready. I don't think what I need is too expensive. Cause I did look up, I did look it up online, exactly what he told me that I needed, and um, the prices range from sixty-nine dollars, of course, to like three, four hundred. But that's it. If I want like this fancy rainwater shower for them, and that's not gonna happen because I would have to reposition the. What do you call that? I don't know. The pipes to go on top and not where it is. So they're just going to get the basic, I mean, the nice one. This is the bike lane and he got me following him. Um, I'm going to get a nice one, but you know, just the basic one. I don't want the one that my house has right now. It's like the silver kind. I'm, I guess maybe the one that came with the house I don't know but yeah go get that and let's try to get coffee while I'm out also I don't know we'll see okay so I just got out of Home Depot and the girls got lucky because they wanted a rain shower type thing and it doesn't necessarily have to go over your head this was not expensive at all. This was $139. And 
I got that. And then he also told me to get a cartridge and a trim kit. But I'm thinking this is already inside the box. I got it. I know I can return it, but I texted him and I showed him what I got. It's pretty early, so I don't expect him to text me back right away. But then again, he might. I don't know. Anyway, so got that. And one more stop before I go home. Just have to go pick up my glasses. But they don't open until 9. And it's 8.22. I won't have to wait too long. So, yeah, you guys. I am doing all of my errands before it gets hot. So, what is the temperature going to be today? Well, it's 66 right now. And it's supposed to be at the high is 97. So that's basically 100. It's going to go forward, but I think someone's trying to come in this spot. Um, I'm glad I'm doing all this before it gets too hot. So yeah, let me just go pick up my glasses. Grab some coffee. And then I can go home and arrange a time for him to come. Probably not today because... It's not an emergency. It's not like I have a busted pipe. Thank God, you know, that he has to come out today. So I'll probably have him come out next week or when he can. He usually has to come out after work or on the weekends. So maybe next weekend. Yeah. And get the girls out of my bathroom because they've been using my shower. Because even though it's leaking, I don't know, for some reason, he said there's a clog in it. He's going to have to turn off the water and whatever. But their shower's not working at all it like it won't turn on so they've been using my shower and I don't like that and they love using my shower all up in my room but I'm like I need y'all back in your own space because yeah and my shower is not all that huge because I have a shower I showed you guys I have my separate shower and then the tub on the outside of it but the shower is kind of small so they're bringing all of their products in there their hair products and their body wash and stuff like that and it's like you know what I barely have room in there for my things and now I have their stuff piled on my little one little ledge that I have and then on the floor of the shower so they got to go got to get this done quick oh as soon as he's able to come do it and the birds are going but what I wanted to show you guys is <laughs> um, my plant. It's thriving, okay? I don't know how to make that go away. I keep cutting like the dead end, but then I feel like I'm going to cut the whole thing off. So I don't know. But y'all, look, Savannah's over there laughing, but I think I overwatered it because I put so much water in it one day and instead of letting it drain, well, it drained out into this little dish right here, but yeah, I mean, it's a money tree. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be broke. I don't know, but I have to throw this away now. Y'all, I am not good at this. But Heather is thriving, y'all, look at her. Yeah, and I watered her today because on Saturday I forgot y'all know I set a timer to water my plants every Saturday at noon But I did not do that this Saturday, but I just did it now. So yeah, she's thriving Good morning everyone. It is Thursday and I just sat back down to my little work area um, the system is down and I'm like I'm not just going to sit here in front of the computer. I'm sitting here now, but that's because I just sat down so I got up and I straightened up the kitchen and I started the dishes and the dishwasher and then I started laundry, things that I would have normally waited for when I was on break, but there's like literally nothing to do. System got down, somebody said, oh, so do we just have to go in now to work? I guess it was someone that was at home today and it's like, girl, the system is down. It's not gonna work if we're there. Bless her heart, yeah. Anyway. So, um, don't know how long it's going to take to come back up. And I don't want to go like in the living room or anything because if it comes back up, I won't be able to see that it comes back up, but I don't want to just sit here. I could be doing things. So I will upload a video for my other channel. So yeah, that's what I'll do because there's nothing else to do. 
And if I look sweaty, it's because I was cleaning up the house. Sweeping and doing the dishes, laundry, and straightening up stuff. So, yeah, you guys, that's been my morning. I was able to clock in, though, and then, like, 30 minutes ago, actually 45. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. Um, so, I know I didn't vlog at all yesterday after I told you guys about the um, system going down. So it was down for a total of three hours. So didn't have nothing to do, but I was able to get everything I needed to do in the house. That way when I got off of work, what happened? I think Savannah and I, we went driving. Well, she drove um, just to get her um, practice time in and TikTok is a trap. I got on TikTok maybe like um, 6.30, just watching videos, you know, because they're short video clips. Next thing I know, it was 10 o'clock. I spent four hours on TikTok and I didn't even realize the time had flew by, but I had done everything already in the house, so there was nothing really to do. So, yeah, anyway, did I say today's Friday? I'm excited. Happy I'm waiting for a package. Um, today it's supposed to be delivered, and I will show you guys when I get it. And, yeah, nothing else going on. Um, I am on break from work, so just sitting here chit-chatting with you guys. That's it. And got my water here. I'm trying to drink more water, you guys. I think you guys know from a long time ago, um, I have a love-hate relationship with water. So sometimes I try to put like those little, I call them the, like the crystal light shake-up packs, whatever, but I don't really use those as much as I used to. I just don't. Now I don't like those. So it's weird. So yeah. Okay. I thought I heard someone walking up. It's like, bring my package. Okay, you guys. So you remember the giveaway that I won? So, hold on, just making sure no labels are shown. Anyway, so this is the knife set that I won, and I haven't opened it yet, so the only thing that I, that I did was cut the plastic around it, so let's open it up. Oh, comes in a box, and then I think in the bottom is the base. You guys hear Boston running around. We laugh at him and tease him. If you can tease a dog, I don't know. But his feet sound like high heels when he runs across the floor or when he walks across the floor. Okay. Some more plastic. Oh, that's, that's the knives in there. I'll show you guys that in a sec. Hold on. So this must be the container that holds the knives. Make sure I wasn't throwing any parts of the knife set. Okay, I'll clean all that up later. I just need to. Do this. So this part is clear. Ooh, fancy! And I'm gonna wash them all, of course, before I use them. But the knives just came in this little box here you guys and then there's the cardboard on the blades but last night I was so excited cuz my baby bug came over and we got a few things for her to have while she's here that way their parents won't have to always lug everything here so I got a high not a high chair but like a little seat she can be in for when she eats and she's six months now Did I tell you guys she is six months now she'll be seven months actually 22nd on the 22nd I'm for sure of that so anyway got her some baby food to keep here um, bottles formula and I'm gonna go get her some toys and some little 
things that way she can have just you know when she's here i don't want her parents to have to lug their whole house i want her to have the comforts everywhere she goes well at least when she comes over here and then you know i'm sure her other grandmother because they live closer to um, tyreek and annie than i do she has all the things she needs for um, kaylani over there so yeah i want her to have the same comforts here and i'm gonna go get her a playpen so this is the little seat type of thing that we got and you just unclick it move it out the way strap her in close it back and feed her so yeah it's cute and for now you know while she's still little i can sit her on top top of the counter to eat but later on because these straps right here these straps you can attach it on a chair which not here but um chairs like that Good morning everyone it is saturday um it's about nine o'clock and i am up um, i went to bed fairly early last night so that's the reason why i'm up so early did not do overtime today i wasn't even thinking about it i'm like no way i'm just gonna relax enjoy my day i did make my breakfast which is waffles two eggs and bacon and then i have my coffee over there i'm the only one up so far um so yeah i am about to watch the suicide squad the new one um, savannah doesn't want to see it so that's why i'm not waiting till she wakes up for later so yeah you guys another boring day in the shell bell life we're at the gas station she's pumping gas <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Sunday morning it is seven o'clock and I didn't vlog anymore yesterday I know you guys see me getting gas and then we were driving and we seen that fire on the road well we were bored so we didn't go anywhere apparently I'm still at my house but um, we were bored and just wanted to take a drive and so we went down 99 and drove and actually drove till we got to Fresno and turned around and we had lunch on the way or whatever so yeah it was just something to do something to get out the house and yeah so that was it nothing huge but they did have a fire it looked like it was on the other side I wasn't able to show you guys everything because I was driving even though I was trying to show you guys what it was um, and Savannah was recording it on her phone so otherwise I would have had her try to capture it but it was like on one of those telephone not a telephone pole but maybe the electricity pole for and it had the wires on top stuff like that so that was on fire and also looked like a building next to it so then we seen not too long after that we seen the policeman and the ambulance and the fire truck on the other side of the freeway going to handle it so yeah that was that like i said it's very early on sunday morning and i've already done my devotion and stuff like that and i'm not going to church today we're doing church online because the new church that i started going to some of the people in there have covid and pastor the pastor there which i'm so thankful he's being safe church is going to be online today and i'm not sure how they are going to do it because you know when it was ours i know exactly where to go to whatever so um, church starts at 11 so i will just um they have a facebook page but i will just at 11 o'clock pull it up and see if they're live there if not then yeah i don't know so that's the only thing going on and i'm probably gonna fall asleep again before um, the time because i don't know i'm just tired and i'm sure you guys hear my fan back there oh and i forgot to tell you guys this but remember how we got two birds a while back well one died i don't know what happened um i don't know if it was sick 
I don't know. So we make sure the birds are fed and we have water in their little water dish. And it's weird because we always see the birds eating but we never see them drinking water, but the water goes down. So they're drinking water and probably some of it, of course, gets evaporated in the air, but we make sure that's filled up. So yeah, about two days ago, because we cover them at night and then we take the blanket off during the day. So um, a couple days ago, Savannah came in and she uncovered it. And she's like, mom, one of the birds are dead. And so it was the green one, Willow, that was at the bottom of the cage. And now the other one, because they told us it was a bonded pair. We're like, you know, is, is she gonna die of a broken heart? I don't know, but um, yeah, she's eating just as normal and she's flying around the cage she's loud as normal still not right now so yeah you guys we only have one bird and um i think if something was to happen to that one i'm not gonna get any more because i don't know i don't know i'm doing all the proper things cleaning out their cage making sure they're fed making sure they have water having their bird treats in there and the things that they need so i don't know i'm I, I don't know. I will not be getting any more birds. And if you're wondering if we're still getting a new dog, we will. It's just that I'm being super picky because I need somebody who's going to mesh well with Boston. And I need a dog that I know I want here for a long time because I don't want to just keep getting a dog and rehoming them. I just need the perfect match. So we're still getting another, another dog and just because I haven't said anything about it doesn't mean we're not. I'm looking into it. So yeah. So I'll let you guys um, know if there's an update on that. So. so Cheyenne's birthday was yesterday but we're having a celebration today and I got her a nothing bunt cake and just the little decorations and that says happy birthday and I made gumbo. I'll show you guys in a sec. And Evie is here. Say hi Evie. Hi. And she's getting gumbo. Say hi Savannah. Hi Savannah. Wait, you guys get first? Okay. Get closer Cheyenne. Wait, let me. This is so 2021. Okay, we gonna sing. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna ride. What'd you wish for? I'm not gonna tell you. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday. Happy Friday. I am actually off of work today. I have a few things I need to take care of today, run some errands. And so, yeah, I just took a personal day. And my mom actually just left. She was here for a while. And then we had Tariq and Annie that kept coming visiting so the house was full and I didn't really you know vlog a whole lot I was just living in the moment and yeah you guys so hopefully now I can get back on a regular schedule I know I always say that but y'all know me I got Kehlani's bed that's going to stay here and it's funny because when my kids were younger we called it a playpen now they call it a pack and play I don't know, maybe because a pin sounds like a box for a dog. I don't know, but it's the same thing. So I keep saying when they said pack and play, I thought they were going to bring something different over here. But then they brought a playpen and I'm like, well, that's just a playpen. I ordered one for her and that's going, going to stay here so she can sleep in that when she comes here. So um, it came two days ago and I never took it out the box. So I'm going to do that now and then I'll show you guys when it's up. Savannah had to come pick up. Um, equipment for her job so we had to do that and she had a certain time she had to come to do it so that's the reason why um, we had to leave so quick I thought we had time but you know we didn't but anyway we're here now and I'm in a position where I can vlog and you guys really can't see the surroundings so yeah so the new church that we've been attending I am going to it's called a ladies dessert night where you know the ladies bring a dessert and you fellowship and have fun and it's going to be us getting to know them we have not definitely made that jump and said that you know we're going to be members here um i'm still testing the water still getting a feel for it still waiting on god for direction so it looks like it's going to be the place but i don't know you guys i just feel like i'm 
I feel like I am being disloyal to my old pastor. And even though he released all of us because he's, you know, he's sick, he's not doing well right now. He released the members, you know, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm being disloyal to him by, you know, looking for another pastor. I don't know. But his wife, uh, which is my friend as well, she's been going to the same church I've been going to, and she hasn't really given them a um, definite answer yet, and I'm kind of waiting on them. I know I don't have to, but it's like I want to be where they are because, I don't know, I just, I just do. So, I don't know. That's the update on that, and there's not a whole lot going on right now, you guys. For the last few weeks, my mom, like I said, has been in town, and... We've had family over a lot, so yeah, wasn't really blogging. Well, there's a lot of people out here. I guess people coming to pick up their equipment for home. So yeah, so right now, um, I won't tell you guys where she's working, but she is working um, at a job to where she can work from home. Okay, you guys, so I made it home, and this is what the playpen looks like. And if y'all used to hearing it called pack and play, y'all just gonna have to hear me say playpen. Anyway, and it has wheels on it, so I can pick it up and, you know, drag it from room to room if I need to. And this is not where it's going to stay. I just wanted to put it up and see what it looked like in here. But yeah, it's very easy to assemble what I had when the kids were younger, of course it was the same size, but it had like iron poles and you had to put it together. And I want to redo because the stuff they have now for kids are way better than what I had when my kids were younger. So it's not fair. And this was so easy to put up. But yeah, this is the playpen for Kaylani when she comes over. But now I just got to find a place to put it away. Good morning. It is Monday. Weekend's over. If my eye looks a little red, it's because I thought I had something in it and it felt like it had something in it and I kept rubbing it and then, I don't know. So anyway, um, it's Monday, I'm waiting to clock in. I do have my front door open. The air quality shouldn't be as bad today. It's kind of cool outside. I just want some of the breeze to um, come through the house because the house just feels stuffy. Anyway, I'm excited because today I am going to get my vacuum cleaner that I ordered. I don't know if I told you guys that. Y'all OGs that have been with me from the beginning, my very first vlog showed me buying a vacuum cleaner here in this house. And this family goes through so many vacuum cleaners and that's probably my fault because I spend 40 or 50 bucks on some cheap little, and not that that's not a lot of money, but if you want a quality vacuum cleaner, you have to spend a little bit more money. But I'll just grab something from Walmart or from Target and call it a day. And the vacuum cleaner that we have now, it doesn't suck the dust or the stuff up. It spits stuff out. It's, it's beyond repair, so it's going to go out to the dump. <laughs> But I did order another vacuum cleaner and when y'all tell me I should buy something or you recommend something, don't think I ignore you. I do check it out, but I'm just, you know how there's CP time? Well, there's Michelle time. So this vacuum cleaner that I'm going to get, it's a Dyson and I've heard so many good things about it. I cannot wait to use it and I already feel like why did it take me so long to get it and I don't even have it? Yeah, and it goes from carpet to floor. I'm just excited. And my kids said, Mom, you know you're getting old when you get excited over an appliance. Mind your business. My vacuum cleaner arrived. Okay, so y'all, it came in like 200 different pieces. <laughs> um, I knew that when I ordered it. Let's put this together, but yeah, I just kept opening box after box after box after box. So... Yeah, look all the different attachments and then it each piece came in something separate like this. I probably should have did an unboxing, but whatever. So I have it charging over there. They said to give it a full charge before I first use it. So I'm going to do that and y'all, I can't wait to vacuum. I, I just can't wait to vacuum. I'm so weird, I know. Okay, I have to make sure no address was showing but this is sad you guys you see this this is all the stuff that between me and my girls 
have been delivered in the last few days yeah okay you guys this vacuum cleaner is amazing i already used it and it just oh my goodness i don't know why i did not spend the money on this a long time ago but right here well it's just saying that it's at 80 percent charge i don't know if you guys can see that yes but if i take it off I'm trying to do this with one hand you guys so okay eco medium and then boost and boost is like really powerful for like your car or something that you need to really get clean but oh my goodness and then when you do use it it'll give you how much time is remaining on that um, on this charge so like eco right there the time remaining is 45 minutes and 22 seconds and you see it counts down and it goes from carpet to floor okay hey there hello this is me I did not leave the house today <laughs> I worked from home which was a hot mess because I barely got in any, anything done but anyway I decided to come into my room but I was talking about the vacuum cleaner you guys oh my goodness I am so happy with the purchase so far I mean you get what you pay for right because with the other vacuum cleaners that I bought I mean they would do the job but okay I've been out of a vacuum cleaner for two maybe three weeks okay so I have hardwood floors and then tile um, the only carpet we have is I have two area rugs and there's still carpet in Savannah's room and Tyreek's old room right so everywhere else is either hardwood floors or tile so we still need a vacuum right and so when my vacuum cleaner went out I would take the broom and go old school on it and you know sweep it thinking I'm doing a good job knowing I probably couldn't do as good as a actual vacuum cleaner but I'm thinking okay you know there's a lot of dust and stuff that I'm getting off oh my goodness when I vacuum the living room rug today it's embarrassing the amount of dirt that came out yeah I thought I was doing a good job apparently not but you get what you pay for because all those cheap Walmart and Target vacuum cleaners that I was getting glad I made that purchase and yeah you guys um, if you are looking for a good vacuum cleaner yes I get that I have not used it for a month or a week or anything like that to give you guys an overall review on it but so far just from day one I'm happy with it I'm happy with the power in it hopefully I will still feel that way in a month so anyway I and where it is in the dining room that's not where it's going to stay that's just where I have it temporarily because in the laundry room where I thought I was going to put it there's actually no outlet over there I don't know why I thought all these years that down below um, when you walk into the laundry room from the house I thought on the left side there was a outlet there and there's not so now it's like okay I have to rethink everything on how I'm going to you know hang it excuse me on the wall and then that started me thinking y'all know how I'm always doing projects and y'all probably like okay here she goes again but I've done almost every room in my house I redid it to my personal taste and whatnot and the girls did their own rooms or whatever and I you know helped but when it comes to the laundry room Savannah was like aren't you gonna redo that and I'm like no no one will never see it it's back here we go in here we just wash clothes it's very small so who cares what it looks like well because I'm always itching for another project and now it's like I gotta find a place to hang this Dyson vacuum cleaner I started thinking like I'm going to decorate my tiny little laundry room so yeah you guys yeah that's a project that will be coming soon so I'm doing a bunch of research um, at first I didn't even know what I wanted I'm like okay I know if I paint the walls white it will at least feel bigger so I knew I was gonna start from there but I know I needed a pop of color so yeah you guys the things that I have lined up for that laundry room is going to be amazing. So yeah, stick around for that because that is coming really soon. And actually, it's going to be 
not very expensive what I'm doing because I have a lot of the paint here and yeah all it is is just decorations and stuff like that so yeah you guys I'm excited so um nothing else much is going on right now um bug has a double ear infection yeah her mom messaged me earlier and said she had stayed home from daycare and that she was sick she was congested all night so they took her into urgent care and yeah my little baby has ear infections in both ears so yeah she has medicine for that but um they said she's feeling better now because she's on her meds so yeah you guys keep bugging your thoughts that she'll get better so that's about it for now um i'm ready to dive in and go just do what i need to do in that laundry room but the way i have always been with my projects you guys and i'm trying not to do it this way is i dive right in and i'll show you guys like a before but i don't i don't give you like the full like i don't know i just want to give you the full before so you could see the transformation and the during and stuff like that so i'm not going to touch it even though i want to go through and clean the cabinets out and start like that i'm not going to do that right now i am going to finalize what i want what i'm going to order and place my orders and get that on the way and then i will film that so yeah look for that you guys in the next couple of weeks because it shouldn't take me that long at all to finish so yeah i'm excited about that another project yay and then when i'm done with that i don't know what i'm going to do you know what i know i'm just rambling but the only room i have not touched as far as painting has been my living room my living room is still the original brown color that was here when i bought the house so i'm kind of like itching to change that but then that means i'm going to change my whole like living room setup which means new couches and yeah i don't know if i want to do that right now so i don't know i will see i will hold off on that maybe i will just paint the walls and you know freshen it up in there and then maybe it'll feel better different pillows different decor i don't know anyway we'll see i'm just rambling but that's the latest um i'm just watching stuff on youtube on how people fixed up their tiny little laundry room so that's about it y'all nothing going on this video has probably been all over the place which probably my last few videos have been like that but i don't know you guys um yeah okay
so this is where I have my knives set up for now I did dispose of the other ones but I do have my Ray Dunn little um, container back here that holds my spatula and it says tools um, I do want that displayed where you can see that but I don't have a whole lot of counter space in my kitchen so for now that is just going to stay right there until I find a better place for it and these were the scissors that were with my old set and they still work pretty good so I'm keeping them still you know they don't match so maybe I'll just put these away in the drawer so yeah you guys um yeah I'll figure out something I don't have a whole lot of counter space so okay so I guess I have to talk it through <laughs> for it to make sense but I just moved it over here and you know even though I would like to display the whole thing you don't have to see everything you you know you know what you're grabbing that way I can still have Ray Dunn displayed right there and yeah okay well there you go so dinner you guys it's all done and I've already made my plate here so it's really good it I know it's not the prettiest but it, gravy and rice and meat you can't go wrong with that very southern mm -hmm.